morning guys, today I'm going to be doing my 27 week pregnancy update. So at 27 weeks I have one more week to go until I'm in my third trimester which is just crazy. I feel like every week I say oh it's, it's going slowly now, it's going quickly now but knowing that I'm almost out of my second trimester like really makes me realise that it is going quickly and I think it's good because being in that third trimester will give me the push to you know, get everything done. I have been quite organised so far and I've got like the baby's clothes sorted and we've got everything already from Jasper. It's just a case of getting it down from the attic and you know, getting a new mattress for the swinging crib and decorating the nursery. We've got someone coming in hopefully next month to repaint it and then I can just like put in all the little bits that I want. Yeah, there's not really that much I need to do, but it's just, it's still crunch time. In terms of how I've been feeling, it's been quite an up and down week. If this is my first video that you're watching, then do go and check out my previous pregnancy videos. They're all listed below. I've had quite a stressful pregnancy. Not like the actual pregnancy itself has been fine, but just lots going on in terms of family health and stuff going on in the home. So I feel like every time I do an update, it's like, well, this week's been good or it's been a crappy week and it's just so up and down at the moment. So overall, I'd say this week has been quite crappy, but I'm trying to stay positive and implement everything that I've said in my how to stay positive during pregnancy video and doing all the fitness stuff that I mentioned in my fitness during pregnancy video, which I'll link both of those below. See, so yeah, I'm just trying to implement all of those like positive vibes <laughs> into my everyday life, just yeah, to have a positive and healthy mind. Yeah, things are looking up, it could be a lot worse, but because I feel like I kind of repeat myself every week, so do go and check out my previous videos if you want to know more about what's been going on. Um, symptoms wise, I've had a really symptom free week, which is great when you're stressed out because obviously no one wants to be stressed, as well as having like backache and sickness and all of that. So SPD has stayed clear, I think it's been maybe three weeks since I've had like really bad SPD. So that's brilliant. Upper and lower back pain as well has been fine. I've had loads and loads of energy. I've been going to bed 11 midnight kind of time, which for me is really, really late. Before I was going to bed at like half seven, waking up about seven with Jasper and then being knackered all day and having that kind of like late afternoon lull where I'm just knackered and want to sleep and don't want to do anything. Whereas now I'm going to bed at like midnight, waking up at six with Jasper because he's decided to wake up earlier. Yeah, just getting loads done, loads of energy, not feeling tired during the day. So that's really good. And I think a lot of that is to do with like being motivated and just being more positive. Um, I think as well it's because it's the second trimester and I remember when I was pregnant with Jasper, my first trimester I was knackered, my third trimester I was knackered and my second trimester I had loads of energy. Yeah, the energy's hit a bit late this time at 27 weeks, but yeah, it's been good, I'm enjoying it. What else, what else, what else? Appointments wise, I haven't had any scans, midwife appointments, anything like that. I have got my bloods next week because my midwife forgot to take my booking bloods which is a bit annoying. Um, they did want me to go into the hospital to have it done, but I've just called up and said, can I come to the doctors because it's just easier. I've got a midwife appointment coming up at 28 weeks. I've had to change it though because we're going on holiday, so I think it'll be 29 weeks by the time I actually have it. Yoga, I haven't been able to go to for the past two weeks because I haven't had Pete here to have Jasper. So I've canceled, I've like frozen my session because um, I paid for eight up front and I don't want to just keep losing out. So I've frozen it and then when I get back from holiday in two weeks, I'm going to pick up my final four ones. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back into that. But I have been practicing it at home a little bit, which I think has also helped with my SPD and lower back pain. So yeah, on to baby. Okay, so baby is 14.41 inches in length and 1.93 pounds in weight approximately. He's still the size of a papaya um, because like I've said before, they group it together in like three, four week groups. It also says that babies born between 27 and 32 weeks have really good, does it give a percentage? No, just a good chance of survival. And quite a few people, when I've put up my like 27 week pregnancy pictures, a few people have said, oh my baby was born at 27 weeks. Which in one way, like it makes me feel relieved because I think if he was born now, he would be okay. And I kind of feel like I'm out of the clear, like I'm in the clear a little bit of knowing that he would be okay. But it also scares the crap out of me because I'm not prepared. I mean, I, I am, I just need to get stuff out of the attic, but the thought of him being here now, I just think, no, I've, I've still got like 13 weeks to go and yeah, I'm just, I'm just not ready. And it does scare me as well because I think obviously he would be tiny and he would be in intensive care and he, it wouldn't be like a smooth 
labour and him coming home straight away so yeah I'd like him to stay in for a little bit longer if possible. So also at this stage the amniotic fluid has decreased and obviously he's gotten bigger so I'm feeling his movements a lot more and that's totally the case. They're not little tiny kicks anymore it's like full on like rolls. I think I said this last week as well that that had kind of started but yeah and I'm getting that feeling where you can feel like an elbow or a leg or something under my ribs and it's really uncomfortable but but I like it as well. Um, he's also, I don't know if it's because his feet or his arms, whatever it is, are right down that area. I know he wouldn't be engaged yet, but he keeps doing kicks down there and it literally feels like a foot or something is just going to pop out <laughs> into the world. I'll show you my bump now. I am wearing my pyjama bottoms and yesterday's top. Stretch marks wise, I have got more stretch marks on my kind of upper thighs lower hips slash like the sides of my bum um really really faint ones but i have been using different oils and creams and balms and i've done a pregnancy stretch mark video just talking about the different products i'm using so i'll link that below as well so that's it that's my 27 week update it will be going up a little bit late because i've got some other videos scheduled in um, thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already bye